Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and other do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have IC Station's do-it-yourself portable FM stereo radio kit. Model number GY18043. Say that five times fast. <laughs> uh, you can get this kit online for a total of $6.47. There might be shipping attached to that, so if you're ever on IC Station site, there'll be links below here. Uh, get a few kits so you can save on shipping. So here it is, the kit. Um, comes in a little bag. Uh, you get a pair of headphones, it looks like, and a bunch of little components. So I'm going to go ahead and open something a little bit, but I wanted to show you on their site real quick the instructions, and then we'll go look at the board. All right, so I got the iPad handy here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a peek. You can see here we go. It's six forty-seven. Not bad. Good price. Wholesale price if you're buying a bunch, I guess, if you're a school. Um, it's just between 76 to 108 megahertz. They say it's universal, which is good. Runs on two batteries, three volts. Comes with a battery holder, it looks like. Some switches, headphone jacks, some capacitors, inductors. Our PCB, it does come with a surface mount IC. There it is. That little black guy right there. <laughs> so that'll be a fun one to solder in, but I'll show you a little trick. I think you might have noticed in my other videos how that's done. Okay, somebody else from YouTube already reviewed this. Great, good for them. Let's see, okay, so we got introduction. So it's a simple circuit. It's one of those touch and scan type radios, but hey, you're building yourself for six bucks. It's great. Plus, it's practice. I really like the sentence here. Um, service mount device and dip switch are suitable uh, for novice and friends who want to practice soldering of SMT components. I like the word friends. All right. So features, you can check it out. It's got the built-in AGC circuit. <laughs> Do it yourself manual welding. <laughs> get out the arc welder. <laughs> uh, you, get, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so anyway, parameters. Um, just look down here, anything important. Working current is pretty low. Wow, it's nice. So this little battery should last quite a long time if this kit's successful. I'm hoping it is. Um, training your skills, students, do it yourself so they give you some ideas what you'd use it for. Home decoration, <laughs> there you go. Graduation design, all right. Uh, installation tips, so you go over that, you can kind of read that, pause and look. The only reason why I show you this is because just in case you get the kit and then the instructions are down, well, here you go, here are the instructions. There's a step to install the different components. Looks like they want you to do the surface component first. And usually you work from your smallest component to your largest component. That's just the better way to do it. Uh, that way nothing gets in the way. So there you go. There is the schematic of what you're building. A lot of people like to see that. There you go. There, main DSP. And of course how it's all being tuned. Uh, components, this is good. It gives you a list of what's there. And of course we'll go through the package real quick. But I thought I'd just show this to you. Oh, and here's the finished product. Showing dimensions. Get two switches, your induct three inductors, it looks like, three ceramic capacitors. It's from the top side. Just kind of browsing here what we got. Okay, battery connection, some zip ties holding the battery holder on. You got what five tactile switches? Resistor, it's a crystal, a couple electrolytic capacitors. Okay, and you get the idea. Your three inductors. And I think I think I passed it up, but there was yeah, here you go, a color chart to color identify those two values. So you don't have to look it up. There you go for your micro Henry and a tenth of a micro Henry. There you go. Gives an idea. All right, so there it is. Okay, so we get rid of the iPad. What I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna bring in this platform so I don't lose any pieces here. Plus that color changes my screen, which is nice. Let's open this up. So you get. So right away you get a pair of headphones. These actually look pretty good. The wires look a little thin though. But the headphones themselves look halfway decent. They got little silicone cups. Um, I'll have to tell you how these work out and then, you know, go from there. But yeah, stereo headphones, sweet. Hoping the radio is stereo. It said stereo, but you know, sometimes they'll say it and it doesn't do it. But I'm hoping this one does. So there's that. I guess I'll leave it in here. Yeah. One for six bucks. Rock on. Okay, I'm just going to dump this all out here. Oh, I guess it doesn't... Okay, there's another bag here. Here's our PCB. Rock on. Okay, so that's where that little um, 
surface mount component is going to go to the ISC, and I'll show it to you in a second. What I'm going to do to install it, and it's really cool, is I'll put the IC down and I'll tack a corner on there in the, in the bottom corner. And I'm going to use a really small tip iron. I'm going to, you know, it's good to have a sign iron that has adjustable tips. This one here has a really tiny tip on it. Can you see that? Really small. And I'm just going to tack that right there. And again, I'm going to tack that right there. Then I'm going to take like a bigger one. Let's see if I got a bigger one to show you. Here we go. I'll use this one here. It's attached to my iron. And I'm going to take uh, and put a bunch of flux uh, paste some flux paste and all those connections there. And then put a little solder on the end of this iron tip. And then I'm gonna do what they call a drag soldering technique where you start off up here, probably next to where the tacked area is. And just kind of start here in just one easy motion, flow it down like that. Just really not, not spending too much time, but just enough time to heat those pads up, run it down there. And then I would check with my magnifying glass just to see if I made the connections. And you keep doing the drag technique until you get those connections flowed. If you have a couple bridges, what you do Take your iron and you run it between the connections like this. You just try off your soldering iron and you just drag between to remove the excess solder if you bridged any of those gaps. Not a big deal. A lot of practice. And that's not a real small one, so I should be able to do that. No problem. And you guys should be able to too if you, you know, have the right tip size. Like I said, this is a good tip size for dragging. And the other one was really good for tacking. So always good to invest in some small tips. I think this is 1.2 millimeter. The other one might be like 0.7 millimeter. Give you an idea. All right, so then the other side is the main part where all the through components go. So as you can see, this is probably the easiest part. You got the five switches, three inductors. Oh, they even got little diagrams with the values. Very nice. Resistor value, this, this capacitor values. So ready to rock there. Now let's go ahead and see what's in this bag. Oh, yes, is all the fun stuff. It's all loose in here. Okay, I think it's everything. You got the zip ties. They give you an extra zip tie. That's good. To tie your project to the battery holder. Okay, looks like I'm playing with these are three inductors. Two are the same, one's different. You got your one resistor. Ooh, here it is. The one resistor to rule them all. <laughs> uh, there's your couple disc capacitors in there, and I kind of wanted to dump that all out. I guess it's all loose in there. That's not nice. Here's your battery holder. Looks like uh what's it saying? Is it saying double A there? This would be triple A. This is a double A holder. Nice. Definitely get some capacity and runtime with this thing. Wow, I didn't know it was double A's. Very cool. Um, headphone jack. Pretty simple setup. Liking that. Again, you got the switches. Five of these little dudes. And then let's find that little guy. There's some disc capacitors, electrolytic capacitors. There's a little crystal. And uh, I don't know if there's a. <laughs> this will be fun. If there's a value on here, if I could even get into focus. I don't think there's a value on there. Just a little barrel crystal. Okay, I'm guessing being careful with that one. And there's the IC. Holy cow, I think small. Usually they're in like a little holder. So if I get in a focus for you guys. Come on, baby, focus. Can we see anything there? Okay, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> that is some small writing on that thing. But anyway, this is the IC we're going to be tacking that on. Oh, there we go. I almost got the numbers there. I think I have it upside down. But notice the orientation pin one is where that little disc is. Uh, I think that's upside down. <laughs> this is the little this is the big main practice right here is making sure it looks like the legs are all pretty straight. I would check that and bring them down a little bit if they're a little raised up high so they connect the board. So there it is. <laughs> But for six bucks, I think it's a fun little project. And it's enough from radio when you're done. So even best, you know, it's, it's a better deal. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pan to black here. And I'm going to come back with pictures of the build process where it shows as, as I go, as I put the components in, probably starting off with that little dude. And then maybe a couple others and probably like three, four pictures. And then we'll uh, plug it into an external speaker probably because these aren't going to, you're not going to hear these real well. <laughs> and we'll hear what this FM radio sounds like and see if we can get some reception out of it down here. And I'll do my normal review of it. All right, guys. Fade into black, and I'll be back with pictures of the build process. For step one, I soldered the surface mount IC onto the back side of the PCB. Pin one on the IC has a circle by it. The corresponding pad on the PCB is a rectangular shape versus the others being oval in shape. Using the tack and drag method, it worked rather well. Remember to use extra flux to help the solder flow and make good connections. 
For steps 2 through 8 and 10, I populated the board with one crystal oscillator, one resistor, three inductors, three disk capacitors, and two electric lift capacitors. For steps 9 and 11, I soldered five momentary switches that control volume, channel selection, and power functions, followed by adding the stereo headphone jack. Looking at the back side of the finished PCB, you can see that I did not trim the legs on the switches or headphone jack. This allows clearance for the power wires from the battery holder. Take your time wiring up the battery holder. Allow a little extra wire length. After the power wires are soldered, you will attach the holder with two zip ties. This completes the build. And in front of us, we have the completed radio. It's awesome! FM stereo, yeah! This thing is great! Let's take a quick look at it. Here's the finished product. We got our five switches, a couple capacitors, our stereo headphone jack, sweet. I get the little crystal there. Uh, everything went in really smooth and easy. The hardest part of this project you would think would be the IC on the back, like I showed you, but uh, for me it was easy. The hardest part was getting these wires uh, up in the power wires there, bent real nice and soldered in. Yeah, that took a little bit of practice. You definitely give yourself some extra wire length. I just gave myself a little, but I'd give a little extra if you can, just in case you cut it. You don't want to cut it too short. <laughs> There's some zip ties holding it together. There you go, you got three inductors, your resistor, three disc capacitors. Everything seems to sit pretty low profile. You don't have to really fold those down. Looks pretty good. And the bottom here is two AA batteries. <laughs> Putting these batteries in, was, they're kind of tight fitting as you can tell, but uh, it's pretty neat. It showed the instructions that uh, this only consumed 19 milliamps. Um, that's pretty low. I gotta imagine these batteries will last a long time with the circuit. It's a pretty neat setup. So let's go ahead and give you dimensions. Uh, we have a length of two and a quarter inches across here. We have a height of one and a quarter inches. We have a thickness of one inch. For size comparison, we'll bring out CC Pocket. <laughs> there you go. It's a pretty cool size comparison. I'm liking that. Just a fun kit to build. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Um, and actually get some stations too, which is nice. Uh, here's a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves IC station kits from China land. <laughs> he's Iron Man. Oops, here's your deck of cards to give you an idea how big this little FM radio is. It's just so much fun to build and have a finished product that you can use and use well. I mean, this thing is fantastic. I'm loving it. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't stop showing it off because it just it was fun to put together. Yeah, and it was definitely neat when it worked. <laughs> Turned it on the first time. Uh, so what else we got to talk about this? So yeah, we got the uh, OFM reception report. Okay, well, you know I do a fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. How many stations have found? Well, it rates it fair, one star. Yeah, to be expected, it's a $6 FM radio. It's really, you know, your headphones are your antenna, and depending on where you're at and how you're holding them. The, the issue with this one is you press these channel up and channel down keys, and you get whatever you get. There's no, like, usually not a faint signal or anything like that. So you just get what it finds. And so it found 17 stations. I guess that's not too bad for what the circuit is. And a couple of those stations was an FM stereo. My locals were coming in loud and clear and sounded fantastic. Loving that. Um, another thing, headphone experience. Let's talk about that headphone jack. Okay, so the circuit, I noticed uh, at the lowest volume, it's fairly loud, these headphones. These are the provided headphones. Just showing them off here. Pretty cool cable. Here's your stereo headphone jack, or plug there. And uh, these are actually nice fitting in the ears. I like them, uh, but they're a little loud. And the lowest setting doesn't go to zero. It doesn't go to mute. It's just, uh, it still plays. Now, if you're outside, it sounds okay. But if you're indoors, it's a bit loud on the lowest setting with headphones. So I'd recommend maybe a pair of headphones. It has a built-in volume control, you know, like a little slider control. That'd be a way to go. Um, if you don't like how loud these are at the lowest setting. It is kind of annoying, but, uh, you know, it worked, and I was happy. <laughs> I used my own pair of headphones, and it was great. Um, but using these are good, too. I mean, they're included, and that, that's a fantastic deal. Um, so I mentioned that, no low-level hiss that I could tell because it didn't go to zero. <laughs> um, it has really good lows and really good mids with these, these headphones, which is nice. And with my headphones, I had decent lows and, and the same strong mids. So, a good setup on the headphone jack. Yeah, and FM stereo. 
<laughs> when I first uh, talked about this during the beginning of the video, I said I wasn't sure if it was FM stereo, even though it said it was, and it is. So I'm pretty happy with that. But I'm uh, really amazed that it takes two AA batteries and that uh, current draw is looking to be low. I like that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to plug it into an external power, uh, external speaker source, I mean, and we'll see uh, what we can hear. I think we'll just pick up a couple of stations, just to give you an idea. I do have Radio Totterbert playing. And what that is, I got a, uh, let's drag it over here, an FM transmitter, transmitting at 97.7. .7. There's no readout on this radio, but you'll be able to hear the familiar sounds of Radio Totterbert. And it gives you an idea where you're at on the spectrum of this radio. And I'll give you an idea where it goes. <laughs> it finds about three or four stations downstairs here. Like I said, upstairs I found 17, which is pretty impressive. So we're going to move his headphones back a little bit. So here is my my speaker here. I'm using a GPX radio. You guys have seen me use that in the past. It's this big clunky thing. Yeah, I forget the model number, but there it is. And I'm just going to, um, with this wire behind it, it seems to get the best reception just laying it down on the table. And I'm going to go ahead. This is the power switch. you got channel up and down, and here's your volume controls here. So we'll go ahead and turn this radio on. Turn on this right, fellow citizens, there we go. Forsaking the noble mask. So that's the lowest setting. And then we can turn it up. Possibly endangering those same dear citizens. To mask or not to mask really isn't the question, is it? Break the germ cycle. Wear a mask. Sponsored by the Illinois Department of Public Health. So we'll hit channel. Did I hit channel down? Yes, yeah, this channel. Got some music there. Can't hover. Nice. But yeah, I usually get like a couple stations now. It goes from 76 megahertz. They're quite artificial. They have all kinds of constraints. That's one of the reasons to emphasize mm -hmm. their predictions. They're, they're mm -hmm. explorations of possibilities, not not this is what's going to happen. But then there's an element of pure randomness. We, we... So sometimes you got to wait a little bit for it to go right back. I'm trying to find Radio Totterbert. Where is Radio Totterbert? Come on, Radio Totterbert. Oferujemy kompleksowe rozwiązania dla domów, mieszkań i biur. Ołdokiem PZV i drewno aluminiowych przed... Money anytime, anywhere. Even from your favorite hiking trail. We are mornings in the Northwest Burbs. All right, get them up! We are Star. It sounds great. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Cancer won't wait. It won't wait for. Okay, come on. There we go. It's Radio Totterbert. I can control that with an MP3 player. No distortion. There you go. You can turn it now. Okay, well there it is. Go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, that little demo would be nice. So yeah, I got a few stations, about five or six downstairs, not bad. Cool, using this as the antenna, plugging into the speaker, about a three foot wire, not really elevated. But yeah, overall impressions, um, yeah, the EQ kit it says on here, this is the um, IC Stations uh, GY18043, like I said, say that five times fast. For $6.50, definitely worth a pickup. Um, Links below. Go ahead and check it out. I am an affiliate on IC Station, so if you do buy one of these or a couple of them um, to give us gifts and that, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, like I said, they come with the headphones. Um, you know, give it a go. I get a little credit. I don't know how much it is. Like same like with Amazon, like three, four percent. But then I can use it to buy more kits to show you on the channel. And it'll be mainly radio kits. I love their little radio kits they have. Um, they do have light kits and fun things like that too. But this is a great. Um, and it's an easy to build kit. The hardest part is going to be for some people that I see on the back. I guess I just use that drag, tack and drag method. You tack corners to make sure the chip doesn't move. Put some extra paste flux down or liquid flux. And then take your iron with a little bit of solder and then just run it down nice smooth motion on those ISC legs. And you'll have no problem. 
like I say, if you bridge any connections, you can always separate them. Now, if you don't know how to solder and you're kind of nervous about it, just get to learn to learn uh, how to solder kit or be a pro. I forgot what it was. Solder like a pro. I'll put a little link up here for you guys. Check that kit out. Works really good for practicing, and then you can move on to something like this. But yeah, this was great. This was a fun little build. So there it is. Gets recommended by all day long. <laughs> Love this little guy. Um, if you enjoy kits uh, being built, uh, do-it-yourself kits, um, projects, things like that, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future kits that I build, mainly focusing on radio technology, like this little portable FM radio. <laughs> Just love it. It's so cool looking. My wife even thought it was neat, you know, because she's like, oh, it's small, it's cute. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, and then, of course, you know, comment below what you think about the IC stations, little micro FM, the tiny FM pocket radio. I think this thing is just fantastic for $6. And I think it's technically $6.47. So there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know. All right, take care and we'll see you in the next video.